Hey guys, Dr. Aisha here. I just wanted to get on here and share with you this hibiscus hair tea that I created. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about what to do to your hair during these winter months. It's oh so my dry, gosh! And I feel you. I'm with you. That's why I created this. I am, I've been battling um, dryness myself, but this has really been helping my hair to um, retain moisture. It's really good for hydration and it's full of bioactive compounds um, that are good for follicular stimulation, strengthening your strands, and just um, promoting hair growth. So this is overall a really good option. It's very economical um, versus buying tons of products. You know, if you got your dried herbs at home, then you could do more than just make a hair tea. You could make a tea to drink, <laughs> share it with the family. It's packed with vitamin C, all of the vitamins, all the minerals. Um, I think hibiscus is one of the um, herbs that has been overlooked. I mean, especially where I'm from, but um, I think it's a really easy DIY. I'm going to link all of the products that I'm using for this recipe below. And I want you guys to give it a good try. Um, let me know what you think about it. Um, if you like it, if you don't like it, please let to me know. be a little insightful about the reason behind why you do it or don't like the recipe um, or, or what it did or did not do for your hair. But yeah, and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. But anywho, let's get to the recipe. <laughs> Okay, I started by steeping two tablespoons of dried organic hibiscus in boiling water. I just did eight ounces. I let it steep for about um, three hours. You don't have to wait three hours, but at least let it cool down. Now I'm just adding in some distilled water. I took it up to a 150 milliliters. Make sure you waste a little. Using distilled water will heighten the quality of your product and help with preservation. And now I'm just adding in one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin. I did use the food grade that is free of soy and free of palm oil. Next, I added in one tablespoon of organic aloe vera and then I followed with like five drops of organic rosemary essential oil. Next, I just mixed everything for about 10 minutes. I wanted it to make sure that it was really mixed well and everything incorporated nicely. Now, a little bit about the ingredients. Vegetable glycerin is a natural humectant. It attracts and retains moisture, meaning that it attracts moisture from the environment and supports your hair in retaining or holding that moisture. This one is also used as a natural preservative. It's a stabilizer and can be used as an auxiliary solvent in addition wow. to um, water or alcohol. So this is just gonna provide some extra shelf life to your product, which is something that we all want because we don't wanna spend a whole bunch of time remaking things. Okay, so look at this cute strainer. So now it's time to strain the hibiscus tea and add it to the water. I ended up adding in just enough to bring up the volume to a little bit more than 250 milliliters. Now, aloe vera is also a humectant. It has mucopolysaccharides, amino acids, and zinc. These all aid in moisture retention. So it locks in the moisture while still attracting moisture from the air. So I continued this mixing process for about 10 more minutes, and that was it. Next, you'll see that I'm just gonna add it into a fine misting spray bottle, and then it's ready to apply to your hair. Um, you can store it in the fridge. I would say that it's gonna last about 10 to 14 days, which might be a little bit longer, but you really wanna pay attention to the color, make sure everything still looks good, looks stable. If anything looks off, toss it. It's so easy, so simple, so cheap. You don't want to risk bacteria in your scalp. So yeah, see how easy that was? Now we're ready to just apply this to our hair and our scalp. We can use this daily or every other day. It depends on your preference. 
I start to notice more hydration or just softness in my hair almost immediately. So I'm interested to see or hear what you guys experience. So guys, I'm gonna be sharing so many more recipes here. Go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts. Okay, bye.